Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I went to CVS and Walmart and I picked up all the makeup that caught my eye that nobody else is talking about. We're gonna swatch it, try it. I kept my arms open so that I could do like a full juicy, satisfying arm swatch session. I have duochromes, lippies, we have glitter. We just have like some cool stuff that when I was shopping, I was like, why, why is this stuff not viral? This stuff looks super cute, super good. I have a good feeling about a lot of it. So let's dive on in and get makeup on the face. Okay, I've already primed. I do have the Timeless Smoothing Primer from Tarte that I will never ever part with. I have a new foundation brush. This is from Real Techniques and I'm gonna try real hard to not ruin my fresh manicure. I just put on a dark polish, which if you guys do your own nails, you know that is like the most challenging. It's like you're up there on the high wire. I will list everything that I swatch, try, mention in the description box below. Go ahead and expand that everything will be there. I'm trying to get in better habit of putting like all the makeup worn in every single video. And then also I do have an Amazon shop, go check it out. I will have a link in there as well. And you can see what I'm up to and how I have been treating Amazon like a freaking Pinterest board. I am currently spending about an hour a day just curating over on Amazon. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So go check that out. And how cute is this? This Real Techniques, this is like a fat, little fluffy fat brush that is adorable and it looks like it's gonna kind of like that shorter handle because it helps you to have a little more pressure. I picked up the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This has an SPF of 20. I am hopefully gonna match the shade Classic Beige. This is C5 Cool. I know this is not a brand new foundation, but with everybody flipping out about the Lumi products, there was something about it just as it was staring at me in Walmart, I was like, maybe this is also delightful and I must try it. No one is talking about this. So we're gonna go ahead and first pop this on. Actually, I wanna put something on first. I'm not gonna do full blown underpainting. That's not happening today, but I did pick up something. Ah, there goes the scissors. This is so dramatic, I'm dropping things. Ah. Don't look at my bodysuit that doesn't fit, ah. Okay. Um, who else when they're at home unsnaps their bodysuits because they like just, you just like need some relief. I can't handle bodysuits. I can't handle them. I don't know why I have so many of them. I love how they look, you know, seamless and like it just stays tucked and it's so great. But like after a while, it's like, I'm losing circulation in places that I don't want circulation lost. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm unsnapped and it's like about up here. I wanted to first dive into one 160. I got a hold of it, you guys. This I was talking about over on IG. I was like, it's a pink brightener. You know I love this formula. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know I have hardcore obsessed with this formula from Maybelline. This is the Age Rewind. And you can be patient. Patient with the nails. I just don't know. I just don't know. Maybelline, please. Please. Open. I'm about to use my teeth. I'm, a, I'm oh no. Okay. It only moderately ruined my manicure. It happens. Um, it's a hazard of the job that I'm in and oh my gosh, I think I may have broken it. No. You better do it. Oh no, what is even happening? Okay. I will break you. It's not clicking. Oh, stuff's coming out of it. Okay. Come on, do your job. Do it. Success. Okay. Big success. She went a little too far. So we're just gonna take that pile of pink, peachy pink over here and just, just distribute. We are first going to brighten the under eye area. I used to be into the yellow one. That was my absolute die hard, but I have found 
that the peachy tone really is nice for neutralizing any purple. And I have had more of that in the corner right here recently. And so I thought this would be really nice. I'm enjoying the Givenchy trend where, you know, we're all baking with a bunch of pink powder and it's nice and brightening. And I do like that. This is delightful. I do like it. Look how that just like, bam, I put a little bit over my area right here that I like to brighten up and cover up. That formula is so, good. Okay, so this is one, to be fair, that is more viral over on TikTok. So that's not like a, oh, no one's talking about it, but it was available for a very long time and no one was talking about it. Okay, so this is the True Match Lumi. Let's just go on in and paint away. This is a good color. I like that color. L'Oreal makes amazing foundation. Not only do I love the infallible, but their reformulated true match that comes in the pump is a dream. I am so here for it. I love putting it over contour. I love the consistency of it nice and thin and whatever they did to reformulate, it reminds me more of the infallible now and I'm just into it. I've been reaching for it a ton. This is nice, fresh, and glowy. If you are not a full coverage personality, like if you want your imperfections to show through, like that sounds terrible. But if you don't want to full shellac the face, you're not into full coverage, this is really nice. Blending, doing everything I need it to do, and quick. It's not pilling, it's not bunching, it's not being weird, it's nice. Go a little bit over, the concealer, that's the trick with the brighteners. You definitely wanna take some of your foundation up so you don't just have like, like the bright pink underneath your eyes. Like you don't want that look. So make sure you go a little bit up with your foundation. I recommend at the end of your blending where there's just a teeny tiny little bit of product left on the bristles and you can kind of just stamp is what I do. That is luminous and fresh and not greasy and I like it. Okay, moving on. I have another eraser, Age Rewind, Instant Age Rewind, and I am going to be using the shade Tan. The way I was thinking about this is like Charlotte Tilbury dupe, like let me just kind of dot the face and do a tiny bit of contour. See, that is the sound it's supposed to have, which is why I thought the other one was broken. We're now gonna take this guy, I forgot to try this one, um, and just buff it in. Okay, that is actually working out better than expected. It's this formula that's really nice, whether you are using the yellow brightener, a regular concealer, the Age Rewind is just a top notch, great formulation. Maybe not for the nose, but we can make it work. All right, I'm really excited for the blush that I have. How cute is that? It's a little heart-shaped cream blush and I had no business buying this, but clearly I bought it anyway. I just thought this was so cute. I like Cream Shop. I think this packaging is really nice and I am always down to try a new drugstore cream blush. You guys know Honest has been my fave. That is a drugstore formulation. You don't have to buy the crazy expensive cream blushes to get like the best formula out there. I really like this bright pink. I'm gonna put this on before I powder. Hmm. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of, it could just be the colors a little bit brighter than anticipated. It's not overly shiny or anything like that, but there's something about it that's not making me go, oh my gosh, this is top of the list. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hate it, I don't love it. This is what I'm most excited for, you guys. Oh my gosh, Duo Chromatica. 
by Profusion. This is actually pretty expensive for the drugstore. I'm so excited. I feel like I am gonna need some kind of a mattifying powder. I have this new one from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Glow Pressed Powder, and this has Maru Maru Butter. This is a radiance boosting. It kind of looks like an ambient product from Hourglass or it's giving Laura Geller vibes, the baked foundations, baked powders. I'm super curious. We're gonna go into here and we're gonna go right here. It has a strong fragrance. I am not hating this. Like I actually really like it. Um, I do have, ooh, you know what I have? I do have this. I got this at Walmart. You guys know how I feel about the infallible bronzers. Well, they have a fresh wear foundation and a powder. I don't think this is brand new, but again, this was just like stuff that I was finding at Walmart that I felt like I have not seen anyone really talking about this or loving on this or making a fuss over this. And I just got curious. I'm always down to find like a hidden gem at the drugstore. Let me get my super cheapy Amazon special right here. I'm still gonna be ordering more to try and hopefully find, wow, shh, oh my gosh, what have I done? Well, I guess, you know, to be fair, it is foundation in a powder. I just normally don't expect that there is such significant follow through. That's okay, this is gonna brighten up the under eye area. Probably knowing the level of pigmentation, I would not go in with a puff, I would go in with a brush in the future. Texture is A plus though. Wow. Yo. Ignore the totally terrible contour that I have going on on the nose. If we can just get past that. This powder is gorgeous. Like my pores just completely disappeared. I do have a darker finishing powder from Physicians Formula. And I think I kind of want to liven the face back up from what I just took away. It's like a back and forth thing for me. I'm adding color, I'm toning it down, I'm adding more color. And that is to me a way that I get the shape of the face right, like the contours and the highlights, but also layering doesn't hurt when it's hot outside and you want your makeup to last. Um, so long as you don't go too hard, layer with caution, but that is something that I do. Like sometimes when I'm not applying makeup on camera, like what you don't see is I will literally be going cream powder, a little more cream, a little more powder. Like I'll just like layer, 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 layer. And I'll be using a bunch of different products. Um, that's just kind of, I don't know, like the artist in me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that does happen. And I wish there was a good way for me to teach that to you guys because it can get really confusing to be like, oh my gosh, why would you use three lip liners? Or why did you use so many different bronzer shades? And it's just because you're like, boop, 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 you know, and kind of getting the perfect look shade that you want. So just play, like I always encourage people, layer, play, have fun, it washes off, try it out, why not? All right, this just brought us back a little bit. Loving that powder so much. Okay. Let's go to lips for a moment. I have a really beautiful holographic iridescent lip gloss from LA Colors. I also have a holographic gold that has kind of like purple flecks in it that looks really pretty. Let's try both of these on. I just wanted to point out random purchase because I've been talking about the infallible eight hour wear pro gloss from L'Oreal for a very long time and I got myself a new color. This is frosted. Did I need this? Oh, am I a makeup junkie? Perhaps. It's just what I love, it's what I do. Love this formula, it's very nice. Okay, we're gonna go in with a little bit of Moira Apricot Brown. If you know, you know. Who knows? Raise their hands in the comments. I see your activity over on Amazon. Is this working out for you guys? I would love to know. I wore like three different liquid lips yesterday trying out the Alexis Vogel, like her style of doing liquid lip and then powder on the lips and the whole thing. And it did definitely dry my lips out. I'm gonna be lip masking hardcore later.
The first item I'm gonna go into is my Melody Cream Shop Hello Lippy Tinted Moisturizing Lip Balm made with vitamin E and shea butter, and it is cotton candy scented, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna shove it right up a nostril, my gosh. I just love sweet scented lip stuff. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. This is nice. I feel like I need a different blush. Like I'm just not feeling the blush. If you can kind of like get with me in my mind of how I thought things would go down, I'm like, these two match. They are a pair. This will work beautifully. This was like a little too pepto bismol -y for my taste. You know what I want to do? This is from Danessa Myricks. This is my channel and sometimes I break the rules, my own rules. They're imaginary rules, but still they are there. I just need just a little, a little smack of this, just a little tiny. I have been so obsessed with these cream blushes that it kind of is like the standard. I don't know what it is, but these blushes are so forgiving, they will go on top of anything and just give you like the nicest there and punchy, but not like unblended or terrible or too loud kind of a thing. So I, I've been just over the fricking moon for these. So what we're gonna do now is a little bit of the LA colors. Let's see how this gloss goes. This is Gold Rush. Nice big wand. I feel like I should do one on the bottom and one on the top just to kind of, let's like do that, let's see. So we have Gold Rush and then we have Sugared. Ooh, yes. I like Sugared. For this look, we're gonna go with Sugared. These are way, like let me tell you, way more glittery than I imagined, but I'm not feeling that like chunky glitter in here. Um, these are extraordinarily affordable. It is a comfortable gloss. It is juicy, not gloppy. I could sit here and fuss some more, but I am gonna move it on to the eyes. Uh, first, I will do my brows really quickly. I don't have a new brow product, so be right back. I picked this up at Target, you guys. I'm wearing it on my shoulders. This is from NYX. This is the Born to Glow. This is a hot highlighter. If you like that glittery, glimmery, kind of like the chunkier kind of glimmer that's in the Fenty cream highlighters, but this is not a cream, then you will like this. If you are not into that wet, glimmery highlight, then you'll be like, ew, gross. If you wish to look like you sweat glitter, this is so Gorgeous, I can't. Little goes a long way, so don't go out of control. Um, but I do really, really love it for that strong sheen. I saw this and I thought it looked so genius. This is the Wonder Pencil from NYX. This has a matte side and a more metallic side, and these are light nude pencils. Let's check this out. We've got... Oh, that's crumbly. That was the shimmery side and we've got the matte side. Okay, I'm gonna go with, this would be great underneath the brow with how dry that is. I don't know in the waterline that that would be the best. You know what you could do? This. That was a bad idea. Let's go into some eyes. <gasps> oh, I had more bronzer to try. Oh, okay. okay, we're just gonna get, why not? Let's just go in here. I'm curious. That is such an interesting texture. It's like powder, but it's, not? Immediate like, it's a really different texture. I'm not used to this, I wanna play with it. Likely not with as much as going on on the face right now, but from Uma, 
I think that's how you say it, uh, which is available at Walmart. I think they have two lines. The more budget friendly obviously is at Walmart. And now we are getting to exciting times. I have shimmy struck shadow sticks. We're gonna swatch up the arms. This is from JCAT. I love a good shimmer pencil situation, you know? Yeah, that's nice. That was the shade High Beam. Speed of white. Whoa. Okay. I whine a lot. These are pretty. I'm liking the formula. Moonlight Radiance. Ooh, that one's like, kind of like a gloss with some stuff in it. Do I like that? Do I like it? I don't, can't really tell. It's like got such almost a see-through base and then it's like glittery. That's really interesting. We have the shade Amethyst Crown. All right, that one is not, that's not showing up too much. Pass, Breezy Haze. It looks really vibrant right here, but it's just kind of a little too muted in my opinion. We have the shade Siberian Sea. This is the last blue one, so let's hope. Mm, not doing it for me. I'm liking the neutral ones better. Mesmerize, go figure, you know, I like neutral tones. I don't reach for the more vibrant colors as much recently, so it's okay, but that's pretty. That one, I like. I can get in on that, absolutely. There's only a few more. Let's keep it going. Golden Hour of Life. Luminary Dream. Just a nice bronzy brightening. Mm. We have Sparkling Pebbles. I keep testing them in the inner corner because that's kind of like my spot to put these kind of products. It's just not really bright enough, but we are gonna test this formula on the lid. I'm actually gonna go in with blackout and put this on the lid so that the duochrome has something to do its thing on top of. Um, I'm just gonna smoke out the eye and then if I wanna go in with more, I will, but let's go ahead and try that out. Now we're gonna go into these. All right, so there's not even a sifter. It's just like you pop this puppy open and you are living wild and dangerously from the jump. I'm gonna put a little bit of the primer on. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. All right, that happened. We're gonna take a little bit of the excess off and onto a glass palette. So it's a black primer. Bam, dude, all right. We're going in, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. What? I am all of a sudden very excited. I am gonna put some of the black primer on the lid, like I was, thinking that I was being smart and like working a step ahead by putting the black on the lid, being like, I don't think a duochrome is gonna work with just a clear primer, but uh, they are smart and they put a black primer in the kit. So we're gonna go on the lid with their primer and I am gonna work one eye at a time. And I am gonna go in with the more green shade. Wow, that is so pretty. Like I kind of cannot even believe how beautiful that is. I am shocked. I'm gonna crack into the other kit and I think I'm gonna do a different color on the other eye just to show you guys it tried on and in action. I am, whew, I am in my feelings for these loose powders. Wow, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, both come with black primers. Wow. I'm taking the shade High Beam by JCAT. I'm gonna get this lower inner corner kind of juiced up so that the powder has something to stick to. I'm gonna take a tinier brush, really get the excess off and just kind of stamp it. I think I liked it better before. I just think these are really, really pretty. I am gonna mimic what I just did on the other eye. James is gonna see me and be like, what? Is this like a new trend? Like what is going on here? Um, I love the vibrancy of these. I cannot believe that I bought this at Walmart. There is more in here than you will ever need in a lifetime. I love that about loose pigments. It's such a teeny tiny bit goes a long way. I might find a different container to transfer these into because it is super inconvenient how there is no sifter, but you can, I'm sure, find on Amazon like little plastic jars with a sifter on it. I will try to hunt something down and let you know what I end up doing. Let's just for swatch sake, look into this. Oh my gosh, so beautiful, right? These are just gorgeous. Like my gosh, and that's with nothing underneath it. Oof, do I dare? Yeah, I'm gonna put this on top. <laughs> I feel like a child that is like in need of stepping away from the makeup entirely. I'm having a little bit too much fun right now. I'm gonna put on some liner and some lashes and I will be right back. A little crazy to look in the mirror and see two different eye shades and I like my brain won't register it. This is such a hidden gem. I'm so here for the black base. It was so easy. Anyone can do this, you guys. I didn't have to go in the crease and do like five layers of different colors. Literally, you can just pop this on even with your finger would work. Go in, bam, 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 that's it. Throw on a wing, throw on a little lash and you're done. I mean, my goodness, this is stunning. I love it. I did use my Ardell 421s. I'm still hooked on those. And that is another drugstore, just absolute gem. So to wrap things up, you guys, I wanna share with you what I am into. I will be trying this foundation again. It is a little more on the luminous side. I mean, it's called Lumi than I am used to. Like there's a little bit of shine poking through that I don't love, love, love. But I think that's a combo of just having so many products on top of it and trying new things. So I think I'm gonna sneak this into my routine tomorrow and see how it works with my other products that I already know, love, and trust. I really love that brightener. I will be hooked on that, I am sure. I don't know how I feel, honestly, about the Age Rewind idea to use this as a contour. I am gonna try it again but we all know what happened with the nose, not loving it. If you want a good, inexpensive, fun gloss, LA Colors is great. Um, the Cream Shop smells great. Nice little pencil, you whap it on real quick, easy as can be. So I'm loving these. The Infallible Freshwear, oh my gosh, I'm curious to try this as a foundation to get a shade that matches me because the pigmentation in here is unreal. The texture of it is phenomenal. So this was also a hit. What didn't work? Oh, this just did not do it for me. Just didn't do the things that I, I was really like hoping I was gonna have this like bright, vibrant, like swatch, you know, this whole thing. And they just weren't as bright as I wanted them to be. And they're a little on the waxy side. I'm super picky with chubby pencil sticks. They have to be like super saturated for me to get into them. And what else did we try? Oh. This is a pass for me, I don't like it. The butter setting powders, I need to use them more. Are they an immediate dupe for hourglass? No, but are they bad? No, they have a lovely texture, so I'm gonna try them again. I did put on a little bit of Laneige at the end just cause I was like, I need like a sophisticated glossy lip to close out this kind of chaotic makeup. <laughs> like, 
I love this, but I, I just felt like I wanted a more juiced up lip look. Basically, I'm just obsessed with how this kind of a shine looks right now. I end up changing my mind at the end of every look where I'm like, let me just put this on top of it. This is the Laneige Overnight Lip Balm. I do also love, if you're on a budget, where did you go? Catrice Little Lip Jams. It's kind of like the Laneige Overnight Mask, but in a squeezy tube. I really love those, they're five bucks. Let me know in the comments, do you like the purple side better or this duochrome green? Let me know and definitely check these out. This is the smash hit of the whole shebang. I love it so much. I hope you guys go and have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah.